Let's sing a song full of hope, full of pain Why don't you sing along my friend, for it's our last refrain Hello guys, I hope uh, you guys are doing good and uh, today I'm here with another video and this time I'm in the kitchen again. Yes, I am. And uh, <clears throat> I don't know if you saw my previous videos. I did, uh, I did a top 10 Belgium food uh, video and I did a top 10 Canadian food video and this time I'm doing a top 10 snack video. It's all about snacks and uh, from Belgium actually. So um, <clears throat> it's going to be a cooking show again I would say. And But today it's a top 5, not a top 10. And uh, yeah, this is uh, not really uh, a big dish, but it's like a, sna a snack food I would say. And um, yeah, if you go into a restaurant or a pub or a bar or a cafe and you're not ready for a full meal, well, this is what it is like, kind of a snack uh, in between <laughs> meals, I would say. So here we are. I'm going to start cooking and let's get to it, guys. Guys, and here is our number five and our top five snacks. And our number five is uh, bitter balls. And bitter balls is actually uh, from uh, Dutch or origin, from the Netherlands, yeah. And not like the word would suggest, they're not bitter at all because it's like a croquette type uh, ball, basically. And inside it's filled with uh, meat actually. Uh, meat and a kind of, a, I would not say sauce, but it's a, a mixture of meat and, and roux to, to have the, the meat stick together actually. But it is really good. And here they are. Uh, let me show you how they look like uncooked. Here are the bitter balls guys. And like I said, it looks like a croquette, but it's round. And yeah, there is a, it's like pulled meat in there somehow. And like always, they're gonna be deep fried and we're waiting for the grease to get hot. And then they go in for about five minutes again. So uh, let's start cooking, guys. Here's another look. Here we are guys, the meatball, uh, meatballs, the bitter balls are cooking in the oil. So, and like I say, it takes about uh, five minutes to get ready until they're golden brown, I would say. And yeah, a portion usually exists of about uh, 10 bitter balls. So there we go. It takes about five minutes. And guys, they are ready ready and plated let's take a look and here they are guys here are our bitter balls and it's probably the simplest dish of them all actually you know it's just plain and simple they come on a plate with a dip sauce and usually it's mustard and uh, ketchup that it comes with in a as a dip sauce i opted for a mixture of mustard and mayonnaise so there they are guys take another look at the bitter balls and they are really good actually there we are guys those are our bitter balls and usually you get about 10 of them you know in a serving so there you go and guys i've cut one open for you to see what the inside looks like and there you have it it's, it's meat in a saucy type of uh, mixture. 
There you go, guys. Those are, uh, this is our number five on the, in the top five snacks. Hey guys, we arrived at our number four on our top five snacks. So our number four is called Toast Cannibal. So why is it called Toast Cannibal? Probably because we eat it like cannibals, basically. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It, but it is a raw steak, actually, that is uh, minced. So it's a ground uh, steak and it is made up with some mayonnaise, some mustard and some other stuff and it's going on a toast and it is not cooked so probably that's why they call it toast cannibal and that's our number four in our top five and i show you the ingredients here guys take a look here is our minced meat so it is very very lean meat and it has to be really fresh because we eat it raw. Also here is the toast. We have an onion that goes in there. We have mustard, mayonnaise, and little capers that go in there. And also some little onions to go as garnish basically. So here are our ingredients. And let's start preparing. And it is called Toast Cannibal, guys. And there we are. And here it is guys. There is mustard in there, there's pepper in there, there's salt in there, and mayonnaise, and we mix all onions. There is fine cut onion in there too. And we all mix it uh, together nicely. That it gets one nice even uh, uh, consistency. And here is our toast going guys. And as soon as the toast is ready, it's almost done, then we can start uh, preparing it. And guys, our toast cannibal is ready. I have plated it already and it's ready for you to take a look at it. And here it is guys. Take a look. Here is our toast cannibal. And as you may notice, the meat got lighter. That's because the mayonnaise and the mustard that is mixed into it. That's why it's lighter. And you see the little capers on top and some little onions on top. So this is how it's been served here, guys. And it is a really, really good dish, actually. It's, it's a snack. It's not a dish. And this is our number four in our top five, guys. Take another look. Hey guys, here we are again, and we arrived at our number three in our top five snacks. So our number three is also a croquette, not a cheese croquette this time, but a shrimp croquette. And if you saw my previous videos about uh, uh, the top 10 food, uh, you saw a tomato and shrimp dish. And these are the same, the same uh, shrimp that are in uh, the croquettes. So these are the little gray shrimp. And let me show you the croquette here. And it's a totally different shape than the cheese croquette. It's in a longer shape. And here are the little shrimp. I just have this dish just next to it to show you because that's gonna be used as a little bit of garnish later on the plate. And these are the shrimp croquette. So the shrimps are inside the croquette. And again, they're gonna be deep fried. And I'm waiting for the fat or the oil to be hot. And off we go, guys. And our oil is hot and uh, the croquettes are ready to go in, guys. There we go. And again, they have to be golden brown and then they're ready. Like, uh, like the previous ones uh, or the, the cheese croquettes. Okay. 
they take about uh, five minutes to get ready. And our uh, shrimp croquettes are ready, guys. So uh, they came out of the oil already, and I plated them so they're ready to show. Here they are, guys. Take a look. Here are our shrimp croquettes. And again, with some garnish, some lemon, and some little gray shrimp as garnish here on the side. And these are our number three our shrimp croquettes and they're really good too yeah, guys really good take another look nice golden brown crispy outside soft on the inside yeah Here they are guys, it's hard to see but the shrimps are in here as you can see, there we are, ready and hot, ready to eat. And here we are guys, we arrived at our number two in our top five of snacks and our number two are cheese croquettes. And this time I didn't make it myself because it's a lot of work and you know it's easier just to buy them because uh, like I say I can make them but it's uh, just a lot of work to do so because here they are guys take a look here are the cheese croquettes you know this is like a, like a potato croquette I would say but then instead of potato it's cheese and they go into uh, into uh, egg yolk and then uh, into uh, breadcrumbs. So there we are, and then they go in the deep fryer. And uh, basically, that's all there is to it. To it, you know, just uh, deep fried uh, cheese croquettes. But they're really good, let me tell you. So and this is our number two of our top five snacks. And I'm just waiting the grease for the oil to get hot and I like to see it so I turned it to 160 degrees once the light goes out I'm ready to go and take another look at our croquettes here guys there we are here we are guys the fat should be, or the oil should be hot enough so let's put them in here. There we go. And like I say, in, in this country guys, you find cheese croquettes in every food store. So that's why I bought them, you know. So here we are. And they should be in here for about uh, five minutes, I would say, and then they're ready. And this guy says I'm number two in our top five. And guys, our cheese croquettes are ready and I plated them already. So take a look here. Here they are guys. Take a look. Here are our cheese croquettes. Nice golden brown with some grated cheese on the side. Uh, some garnish. So yeah. Take a look guys, there are, those are our, this is our number two in our top five and these are the cheese croquettes guys and they are really really good. Look at here inside, the cheese is all melted inside. So, there we are, guys. Those are our cheese croquettes. Hey, guys, here we are. We arrived at our number one in our top five snacks. 
And our number one snack is called croque monsieur. Yeah, that's what they call it here. However, it is just a fancy name for a ham and cheese sandwich. It's, fr it's a French name, so I assume the origin of this is from France. So, But here we are, it's very obvious what we need as ingredients, but let me show you. Here we are, we need uh, bread, white bread, we need cheese, and we need ham for our croque monsieur or our ham and cheese sandwich. So, there we are, let's start preparing and cooking, guys. I started preparing already the ham and cheese sandwich, guys. And here I buttered the other side already of the bread. And now we're gonna add the cheese to it. You know, first we put a layer of cheese. Let me see how it fits the best here. Then we're gonna put one layer of ham, like that. And then the ham goes in, and then we put another layer of uh, cheese there. There we go. And then the bread goes on top. There we are. And the top side of the bread gets buttered as well. So, and then I'm gonna fry it on a low heat on the, on the stove because yeah, there are machines to make a ham and cheese sandwich. However, I don't have one. And a frying pan does just as well. So here we go, and let's put it on the heat here, guys. Oh, I still have to butter the top here, and I'm ready to go. Here is our croque monsieur, guys, almost ready. I just flipped it over. Yeah, I took one out because it's too much in this little pan, so... Yeah, take a look. I'll get nice and browned or toasted on one side already. And here it is guys, our number one snack is ready. Our croque monsieur, our ham and cheese is ready. I plated it already. Take a look guys, here it is. There we are guys, this is how it's served here in this country. And this is our ham and cheese sandwich. Or croque monsieur as they call it here. There you go guys, take a look, the cheese is melting in there. You know, it is a really, really good snack. There you go, guys. Take another look. Close to the sun